ಯಾವ ಈಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ನನಗೆ ಸಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಏಡ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಅಸರ್ಟೇನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಸಾಕು ವೆರಿ ಈಸಿ ಟು ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕ್ಯುಲೇಟ್ ವೆನ್ ದಿ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋನ್ ಫೋಕಲ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋನ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಆರ್ ಎನಿ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಾಮೀಟರ್ಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಕಟ್ ಕೀಪ್ ದಟ್ ಇನ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಟೋಟಲ್ internal reflection angle of incidence in the denser medium should be greater than the critical angle hello students this is samson deepak faculty of physics from the temple of excellence vidyashram pre university mysore in my today's class i will be discussing the karnataka ct 2013 paper which is quite ambiguous there are nearly 6 to 7 questions which lead to grace marks in this paper again analytical discussion here makes you all understand how conceptual knowledge will help you to identify the correct answer first the first question given four options for dimensional formulas of certain physical quantities one dimension is written wrong and i have to identify that dimension which is not correct so if you look at the options ambiguity confusion starts here itself because second one dimensional formula for potential is not given so we will work out the dimensional formula for potential by basic definition of potential v equals w divided by q ni vartha maadkondidira potential is nothing but work done to move a charge from infinity to a point inside the electric field so mathematically we write potential equals w divided by q so when i write dimensions here work has the dimensions of energy therefore it is m L square T minus 2. Energy do dimensional formula na nenupus kondre. It is M L square T minus 2. Divided by Q. Dimensional formula for charge. A into T. ampere into time current into time is charge therefore this is m l square t goes to the numerator minus 3 a minus 1 so dimensional formula of potential is m l square t minus 3 a minus 1 and here the option that is wrong is fourth one 
आर सी एम जीरो एल जीरो टी माइनस वन नेक्स्ट वन इन अ लिफ्ट मूविंग अप वेरी क्लियरली दे से द लिफ्ट इज मूविंग अप With an acceleration five meter per second square in Akti Delhi, lift is moving up with an acceleration five meter per second square. A ball is dropped. Ball. is drop coming down from a height of 1.25 meter the time taken by the ball to reach the floor of the lift has to be calculated So problem here is the end there. There is a lift. So I assume this is the lift, and very clearly, lift is moving up. So the lift is going up. With an acceleration a lift a nakti the lift male okti the. Moving up with an acceleration g. ये ये ना तंदर है. From a certain height, a ball is dropped down from a height of one point two five meters inside the lift. At certain height, I drop the ball. i have to calculate the time taken by the ball to reach the floor of the lift my first calculation here is the net acceleration of the system yakandre lift mel hogtide acceleration of the lift is upwards ball is coming down so it is having an acceleration downwards so net acceleration is a plus g acceleration of the lift plus acceleration due to gravity which is 15 meter per second square so i have calculated the net acceleration of the system i know the height from which the ball is dropped which equation of motion will help me to calculate time very good s equals ut plus half at square what is yes height from which the ball is released or drop it is 1.25 this turns out to be zero because it is free fall for the ball initial velocity is zero half 15 t square on simplification T square is point one six, or T is point four second. So the answer is point four second. Ready? Simple theory. Yava equation, then solution ni gaid maarte, help maarte, and ta certain maar kundre saako very easy to calculate. the next one 
a gun fires a bullet a small bullet with kinetic energy k so this is the kinetic energy of the bullet so the gun is firing a small bullet whose kinetic energy is k now i have to relate the kinetic energy of the gun with that of the bullet while recoiling gun en martide it is firing a bullet whose kinetic energy is said to be k now what happens to the kinetic energy of the gun my dear students after the firing has taken place after the bullet is released from the gun according to conservation of momentum the momentum of the gun and the bullet has to be the same alva momentum initial momentum is equal to final linear momentum munte ello helidvi remember gun also has some mass whereas the bullet also has some mass now therefore i say kinetic energy is half mv square by general terms expression for kinetic energy half mv square i try to pitch in momentum here so 2 mk equals m square v square multiply both sides by m 2 mk equals this is momentum square p square because mass into velocity is momentum so very clearly k is p square by 2m so look at the relevance of the theory here i have clearly told after firing momentum of the gun as well as the bullet remain same so kinetic energy is inversely proportional to mass p is same firing aad mele conservation of momentum prakara gun and the bullet has the same momentum so k proportional to 1 by m which means the gun has more mass so its kinetic energy should be less so the kinetic energy of the gun is less than that of k next one a very beautiful problem from a fixed support two small identical spheres are suspended by strings of length 1 meter each this is the fixed support we call it as the vertical using this vertical 
we have suspended two identical spheres whose length is 1 meter each the length of both the strings is 1 meter they are pulled aside as shown and released both the spears are released from their mean position B is the mean position then when and where will the two spears collide my dear students since this is simple harmonic motion exactly like your simple pendulum irrespective of the amplitude both the spheres pass the mean position at a time interval t by 4 seconds nivo simple harmonic motion sinusoidal graph haakdaga irrespective of the amplitude variation happens at t by 4 and all the more he says the length of each string is 1 meter which means what it is a second pendulum very clearly we come to know it is a second pendulum because length is 1 meter problem alle kottidare nan adane heltidini you don't need quantum calculations here read the question analyze the concept physics will solve so since the length of each string is 1 meter it is a second pendulum whose period of oscillation is 2 seconds therefore both these spheres should collide at B at a time interval 2 by 4 which is 0.5 seconds so the answer is the second option at B after 0.5 seconds. Next one. A truck accelerates from speed V to 2V. Initial speed is V. Now the truck is accelerating to a speed 2v. Work done during this acceleration has to be calculated. How do I relate? Work done carry there. Speed is there. I knew all the while work done is force into displacement. Any alternative definition for work in terms of speed? Yes, very good. Work energy theorem. Our work energy theorem told that work done is always equal to change in kinetic energy. Kinetic energy in the bantakshna half mv square sikto. See, did I use any mathematical steps? No. I just correlated one theorem which I studied in my 11th class. Work energy theorem which told work done is change in kinetic energy. So, in the first case, half m is the mass, speed is v. 
सो हाफ एम वी स्क्वायर सेकेंड केस हाफ एम बट नाउ इट इज टू वी होल स्क्वायर हाफ एम वी स्क्वायर इंटू फोर टू वी स्क्वायर इज एल बा वी स्क्वायर टू स्क्वायर इज फोर वॉट इज हाफ एम बी स्क्वायर इट इज नथिंग बट डब्ल्यू वन सो दिस इज फोर टाइम्स डब्ल्यू वन सो वर्क डन हिर डेल्टा डब्ल्यू इज फोर डब्ल्यू वन माइनस डब्ल्यू वन विच इज थ्री टाइम्स एज द वर्क इन एक्सिलेटिंग फ्रॉम रेस्ट टू वी see such simple calculation and the analogy is got good earth is moving around the sun in an elliptical orbit as shown very fine established from kepler's first law earth moves around the sun in elliptical orbit the ratio of oa and ob is r the path oa i call this to be o the ratio of oa and ob is equal to r then the ratio of earth's velocities at a and b has to be calculated if the ratio of oa and ob is r then the ratio of the earth's velocities at a and b has to be calculated i say velocity of the earth at the point a is v1 and velocity at the point b is v2 now dear students recalling kepler's second law he says for any planetary motion angular momentum is constant yavde planetary motion idre angular momentum always remains constant what is the expression for angular momentum mass into velocity into radius is always constant for planetary motion so at the point a what is the angular momentum of the earth mass change agalla m v1 r1 equals m v2 r2 m and m gets cancelled so v1 by v2 is nothing but r2 by r1 i call ob as r2 oa as r1 the ratio of ob to oa is nothing but equal to r so the ratio of velocity of the earth is also equal to r so the answer is the third option that is r this about projectile motion i have already worked out in my previous session take it as an assignment then divided by root 3 is the answer my dear students when i say go back and refer the previous sessions work as an assignment it is actually a practice for you and see that you take that task seriously in doing that next one 
for which combination of working temperatures of the source and the sink, the efficiency of Carnot's engine is maximum. Nalak option gali there. Given is the combination of the temperature of the source and the sink. You have to identify for which combination efficiency is maximum. Recall Markoli Makla? Efficiency of a Carnot's engine in terms of temperature. 1 minus T2 by T1, where T1 is the temperature of the source and T2 is the temperature of the sink. So, when you calculate for the first option, eta turns out to be 1 by 3, second option 1 by 2, third option 2 by 5 and the fourth option 2 by 3. So very clearly for the fourth option combination of 300 Kelvin and 100 Kelvin efficiency becomes maximum. Now the problem says a solid cylinder of radius r, there is a solid cylinder whose radius is r, is made of a material whose thermal conductivity is k1. When the solid cylinder is there, radius of the cylinder is capital R and it is shielded. It is made of a material whose thermal conductivity is K1. Now, this solid cylinder is surrounded by a cylindrical shell of inner radius capital R and outer radius 2R. Andre, first to solid cylinder it to. Now it is surrounded by a cylindrical shell. Solid cylinder sutta eni there. One the cylindrical shell is there whose inner radius is capital R and outer radius is 2R and it is made of thermal conductivity K2. The two ends of the combined system are maintained at two different temperatures. There is no loss of heat across the cylindrical surface. That means the system is in steady state. The effective thermal conductivity of the system has to be calculated. My dear students, can you recall the expression for flow of heat in terms of thermal conductivity? Yes, we told Q equals K A delta theta into T by dx. Where K is the thermal conductivity of the system, A area of the system, D theta difference in temperature, T time of flow of heat, dx thickness. So here Q effective 
is q1 plus q2 now what is q it is k1 area is pi r square pi what is the radius now it is 2r plus r plus r it is an entire system solid cylinder plus cylindrical shell the radius is 2r plus r plus r so this is 4r so area is pi r square so this is equal to q1 so what is q1 now equal to thermal conductivity is k2 pi r square now there is divided by dx divided by dx plus k2 pi r plus 2r 3r square divided by dx now all others get cancelled because it is steady flow so when you simplify this the fourth option will be the answer so on simplification you get the fourth option as the answer next one students two stars a and b radiate maximum energy at wavelengths 360 and 480 nanometers the, the ratio of the surface temperature of a and b maximum energy wavelength and surface temperature has to be calculated any law which will relate maximum energy wavelength and surface temperature yes it is means displacement law which says product of lambda into t is always a constant so here i want t1 by t2 ratio of the surface temperature which is lambda 2 by lambda 1 that is 400 divided by 360 nanometer so 4 by 3 is the answer the answer is the third option which is 4 is 2 3 again this was a question with ambiguity since we don't know the mass of the solids in order to calculate the densities this is one question which goes for grace next one the equation of a transverse wave is given by so he gives the equation of transverse wave as y equals 0 0.05 sin pi 2t minus 0.02x where x and y are in meters and t is in seconds as usual so this is the wave equation given the minimum distance of separation between two particles which are in phase 
ಏನು ಕೇಳ್ತಿದ್ದಾರಲ್ಲಿ ಮಿನಿಮಮ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆಪರೇಷನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಟೂ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಫೇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಕಾಲ್ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಟೂ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ಫೇಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ವೇವ್ ಲೆಂತ್ so he is asking us to calculate the wavelength and the wave velocity now how do i compare this standard equation i compare this with the equation y equals a sin omega t minus kx iga e equation ನನ್ನ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಈಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ಫಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಇದೆಯಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಅದನ್ನ ರೀಅರೇಂಜ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಸೊ ವೈ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ಸ್ ಏ ಸೈನ್ ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಪೈ ಇನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಟೂ ಪೈ ಟಿ ಮೈನಸ್ ಝೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಝೀರೋ ಟೂ ಪೈ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ವೇವ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಲ್ಯಾಮ್ಡಾ ಕಂಡಿಡಿಬೇಕು ಮತ್ತೆ ವೇವ್ ವೆಲಾಸಿಟಿ ವಿ ಕಂಡಿಡಿಬೇಕು ವಿ ನೋ ಸ್ಪೀಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ಸ್ ವೇವ್ ವಿ ಇಸ್ ಎಫ್ ಲ್ಯಾಮ್ಡಾ ಸೊ ಎಫ್ ಜೊತೆ ಕಂಡಿಡಿಬೇಕು ಕಂಪೇರ್ ದೀಸ್ ಟು ಈಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಒಮೇಗಾ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟೂ ಪೈ So omega is 2 pi. What is omega? 2 pi f is 2 pi. 2 pi gets cancelled easily. F is 1. Now lambda beko. When you compare k is 0 0.02 pi. So k is point zero two pi how do i denote this k huh it is two pi by lambda zero point zero two pi or lambda is hundred meters so substitute here f is one so this is 100 meter per second. So, 100 meter and 100 meter per second will be the answer. The frequency of second overtone of the open pipe. What is the frequency of second overtone of the open pipe 3v by 2l naught is equal to frequency of the first overtone of the closed pipe 3v 4lc the ratio of the length of the open pipe and the closed pipe so l naught by lc this gets cancelled is 4 by 2 or this is 2 is to 1 so the answer is 2 is to 1 again the same problem 2014 karnataka cet with respect to beat frequency I have given you a standard relation there. Use that. 4 will be the answer. Pick out the wrong statement from the following. Something that is related to lateral shift and normal shift. First, let us write the expression for lateral shift. Yes. So, lateral shift equals T sin i minus r divided by cos r idnella nim nenpitkolle beko normal shift is t 
1 minus 1 by n. Now I have given you the relations. Using that, I have to pick the wrong statement. Lateral shift increases as the angle of incidence increases. How do LS is directly related to I as angle of incidence increases, lateral shift increases. I'll keep it as it is. Normal shift decreases as the value of refractive index increases. Yes, they are inversely related. Both normal shift and lateral shift are directly proportional to the thickness of the medium. Very much yes. L is proportional to T. N is proportional to T. Lateral shift increases as the value of refractive index increases. No. Therefore, the correct option is B. And that statement is wrong. The next question. The refraction through the prisms are shown. Four diagrams which show refraction through a prism. Pick out the wrong statement from the following. Path of the light ray. Very aptly, if you analyze the diagrams, the correct Picture showing refraction through a prism is A. At the second surface, if you observe, the ray of light is grazing the surface. It is passing through the surface itself. So N2 has to be greater than N1. First surface. It is suffering refraction. At the first surface, light is getting refracted. So N2 is greater than N3. So the option A is the correct answer. Now, 17th one. The distance between an object and its real image produced by a converging lens is 0 0.75 meter. Distance between the object and the lens. Object distance kotidare, which is 0 0.75 meter. The magnification is 2. In this case, the magnification is 2. What will be the magnification if the object is moved by 0 0.04 meter towards the lens? Maklaile, first case li, object distance na kotti dare. 0 0.75 meter and khelti dare magnification 2 agi de first focal length and kandid kola nile look here the relation I use is 1 plus 1 by m is equal to u divided by f when the object distance is known, focal length is known, if you have to calculate magnification or any one of these parameters, use this relation. It's a shortcut. Keep that in mind. Substituting now, 1 plus 1 by m, 0 0.75 divided by f simplify you get the value of f now he is wanting magnification when the object is moved 
0.04 meter towards the lens. So, M dash is how much if U dash is initial distance was how much? 0.75. Now, you are moving the lens towards the object. So, minus 0.04. 0.71. Again use the same formula. Substitute u dash. F is already here. Calculate m. 4 will be the answer. Simple simplification. Again come back to this formula and substitute. Now the next one. Speed of light. In media M1 and M2 are 1.5 and 2 into 10 power 8 meter per second. A ray of light travels from medium M1 to medium M2 with an angle of incidence theta. The ray suffers total internal reflection. Then the value of the angle of incidence. My dear students, total internal reflection. We have all known that for total Internal reflection, angle of incidence in the denser medium should be greater than the critical angle. And 1 by sin C is V2 by V1. Or we also say sin C is V1 by V2. So simplifying this, sin C is V1 is to 1.5 by 2. E 10 power 8, 10 power 8 cancel I2. 1.5 is 3 by 2. So this is 3 by 4. So very clearly, I has to be greater than, yes, so it has to be greater than sine inverse 3 by 4. Which of the following phenomena support wave theory of light? Interference, diffraction, this is velocity of light in denser medium, is less than velocity of light in the rarer medium, but scattering does not support. So B, C, D is the answer. The next one. White light reflected from a soap film, refractive index of so soap is 1.5, has a maxima at 600 nanometer and minima at 450 nanometer, then the thickness of the film has to be calculated. Now, what is the condition for maxima? It is 2 mu t cos r is 2n plus 1 lambda 1 by 2. Similarly, condition for minima, interference adaga, minima 2 mu t cos r is n plus 1 lambda 2. Divide these two equations. This is your assignment. No, no, no. When you divide these two, 
n turns out to be 1. Substitute n either in 1 or 2, the thickness is 3 into 10 power minus 7 meter. These two critical equations representing maxima and minima.